Today we're going to be making a star box. It's a kind of complicated to get started with, but pretty easy once you know how to do it. Um, what you're going to need is you're going to need to start with a regular 60 pound piece of paper and you're going to just uh, make your origami square. So to start with, you take the top edge and fold it down to the side, just like we always do. Crease it with your bone folder so you have a nice strong crease for later when we fold it together and then fold the bottom up so that it matches with this bottom edge of your triangle. Cut this f extra flap off, which you can later use to make another one after we're done. Um, you can make a s mini star box. Okay, and then we're gonna have to start by doing a basic water bomb base. It's very similar to the water bomb base. You're gonna start by just taking this corner and folding it up to make that original X across your paper, okay, and make sure you fold it nice and strong with your bone folder so you have a nice crease there. Okay, and then you're going to flip it over and fold the bottom edge up to the top edge. So you get a crease right through the center of the paper. Again, fold it with your bone folder so it's nice and strong. And then fold the right over to the left or left over to the right, whichever way you choose so that the edges are lined up and you have another line going straight through the center. So you have all of your lines intersecting at the center. Now normally for a water bomb base we would flip it over and we would push the magic button. But right here we've already got what we need. You should have these creases, these ones coming in from the flat edges, they should be valley folds like a V and the ones coming in from the points from the vertices out here, they should actually be mountain folds. You can see how they're kind of folded up there. And what you want to do then is hold it so it's a diamond. And this is, you know, this is the diamond shape here. And then you take these two corners and fold them down to meet the bottom corner. And then squish the top down so that what you have is a diamond shape with the hole on the inside here similar to the water bomb base but it's a triangle instead of it's like a um, diamond instead of that triangle with the long flat bottom so this is what you start with um, for the star box then what you're going to do is you're going to take this piece here and you're going to this top flap here you're going to fold it up okay and then fold it back down we just want to get a crease there flip the model over and then do the same thing. Take the top flap, flip it up, crease it, and then just flip it back down. Okay. Then what you're going to do is you're going to rotate. Notice how I have the open end pointing towards my belly here. I'm going to rotate it so the open end is pointing up. If you don't rotate it like that, the whole model gets screwed up and you have to start over. So make sure you rotate it. Now that you have it rotated, you're going to start by taking this outside edge here, the top edge, and you're going to fold it in to the center line. Okay, just like this. And crease it really nice. So it looks like that. You're going to do this on all four edges. So there's one. Here's two. Flip your model over and then do the uh, same thing, this side into the center. And this side into the center. So when you're done you have a kite kind of shape. Okay, and you've got a triangle down here at the base and you've got these two triangles pointing into the center. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take these triangles that we folded in, you're going to fold it open and see how my finger can stick on the inside, and you've got this crease right here. This crease, you're going to squish it down so that it lines up with the crease here. And it should look like this, another kind of kite shape. Okay. Then you're going to take this outside edge, and I'm just going to shade it in, you don't have to shade it in but that little outside edge that I shaded in there, you're going to flip it back and tuck it behind that piece of paper. OK, 
Okay, so it's like that. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Open this up, squish it down so that the creases line up in the center. Okay, and then fold this corner back around the back. So you have something that looks like that. Okay. You're going to flip it over, do the same thing, open these up, and fold it down flat. And then flip it around the back. Open this one up, squish it down and then flip this edge around the back. So we've got this. Okay, should look the same on both sides. Then you're gonna take this flap here, this top triangle piece, and you're gonna fold it down so that you get a fold line that goes from the top of this little corner to the top of that corner. Okay, so you take this one, fold it down. Then you're going to take the edge here, fold it over to get the next triangle, and fold it down just the same. And then take this one and flip the whole thing over. Take the triangle, fold it down just like we did the other one. Flip that over, and we're back to the last one here, and fold this one down. Okay? Make sure that crease is really nice and strong with your bone folder. And you should have a model that looks like this. You've got the little flap flipping down. You shouldn't have anything sticking up here anymore. Then the bottom, we're going to fold up into a triangle. If you, like, imagine right here on this dotted line is where we're going to fold so there's a crease there. We're going to fold it up so that we get a crease. You fold it nice and strong with your bone folder. This fold is important. This will give you a nice square bottom to your model. And then just fold it back so it's flat. Okay. Then you're going to open the box up. All right. And that you're going to have to hold it up like this. And you just kind of gently pull on these two little triangles and it'll open up a little bit. Stick your fingers inside and you can kind of put your four fingers in like this. And Good if you kind of gently push it down like that and you've got the model finished. And it should have a nice edge here and here where we folded that crease up and it should have a nice flat bottom and it should have these triangular front or um, triangular pieces sticking out so there is our star box